Welcome to Smack Talk. And with WrestleMania coming around the corner, we're all starting to get that inkling that we soon will have another WWE Superstar shakeup. And to be honest, some WWE superstars need that shakeup and they need to change brands as soon as WrestleMania ends. Now, we've compiled top 10 wrestlers who need to switch brands as soon as WrestleMania is over. Number 10, Mojo Rowley, Smackdown to Raw. Why? He's a bit of a mid-card guy, but he's low mid-card on the Smackdown brand. He hasn't done anything since his little feud with his former tag team partner, Zack Ryder. And it just doesn't feel like they've got any ideas what to do with him. If you chuck him onto Raw, you might be able to get that more aggressive side into him. It's, let's be honest, Raw is where all the big characters live. And Mojo would fit in quite well, taking on characters like Brooke, Woken Matt Hardy, and so on. And he'd be a good contender for the, you know, Intercontinental Championship, which we saw him take the Miz on before the Miz went to Raw. So for me, number 10 has to be Mojo Rowley. Nine, Bray Wyatt. <sighs> I know what you guys are thinking, but hold on. Bray went from SmackDown to Raw only last year. Why would you change it now? Let's be honest, a year has passed since Bray won the WWE title and what has he done since? We've seen the stupid Sister Abigail gimmick and his, his feud with Woken Matt Hardy, yes, is fine and I'm enjoying every second of it. But let's be honest, once that feud's over, where are we going to see Bray next? Let's be honest, put him back on SmackDown where he belongs. The original plans was for Bray to stay on SmackDown and hold the title for some time. So let's get him back on SmackDown. Let's continue with the original plan which they had for him back then. And let's enjoy a good Bray Wyatt title reign. Number eight feels like a bit of a cop out, but it's Bree Zango. The reason I'm giving SmackDown to Raw with Bree Zango is Raw desperately needs tag teams. And these guys, again, are not doing anything on SmackDown. But when they are given that opportunity to shine and do their fashion files, they were one of the hottest tag teams on SmackDown. Put them on Raw and have them feud with the Revival, with the Bat. They would make a good mid tag team for these teams to take on. And let's be honest, if you give them more time on Raw for these fashion fans, it will be fun. You know the crowd are interested in it. It's still a big hit. So it just makes sense. And let's be honest, the Raw tag team division needs fresh blood and these guys need a new change of scenery soon or we're just going to lose interest which we already feels like we're already doing with them on smackdown number seven never now calm down calm down guys right i know we don't know what's going on with never we haven't heard any news since december on his contract but let's do this properly put never on smackdown let him chase for a belt come on let's be honest who doesn't want to see never taking on Bobby Roode for the US title. God, I will pay big money just to see that. The guy is talented enough. We've seen him what he could do with 205. So just put him on SmackDown. Make him one of those. You know, he could be a baby face, a heel, and we should still root for him. The guy is that good. And I want to see him hold a legitimate title, either, either on SmackDown with the US its title or the WWE title. Because let's be honest, he could hold both, and I would be happy. So. Calm down, that's just, I just, this is my own personal pick, Neville, smack to Smackdown. Number six, Nia Jax, Raw to Smackdown. Now I know what you're thinking, why would you move Nia Jax from Raw to Smackdown? This is pretty simple. Right now, she is not getting a look in on the women's division. You've got Sasha Banks, Alexa, Oscar, and Bailey. There's no way she's gonna break out of those four anytime soon. Put her on SmackDown where you've pretty much only got Charlotte and Becky Lynch. Put her there. She'll be a great force to take on Charlotte or Becky. And let, let's be honest, I would love to see her babyface Nia Jax come up soon. Because I've seen her heel since NXT. Let's see what she could do as a babyface because I think she could pull it off. And we need more babyfaces on SmackDown. I know it's a hard pull putting Nia into a babyface role and change on SmackDown, but I think we could do it. And 
she is goddamn good in the ring as well. So give her that opportunity. Finally give her a proper push, not that push start which we've been seeing for so long on Raw. Give her a proper push on SmackDown and she will legitimately push up, push up the SmackDown women's division. But five, Carmella. What? Yes, Carmella's done nothing since winning the money in the bank. She nearly cashed in and it kind of failed. But we've got to do something with her and this would be a great opportunity. Just literally send her over to Raw with the suitcase. That gives Oscar a big, big opponent, which which could affect her at any time. And it would and change stuff up with Carmella. Right now, she just feels like a scared heel, and she is so talented. She could literally be one of the best faces to have on your roster of the women's division. But they're not using her on SmackDown. She already has the money in the bank suitcase and they still don't know what to do with her. Put her on Raw where we could see an epic match between Oscar and Bailey and Sasha. Oscar looks like she's about to you know, lose. She gets the win just. Carmella comes out, cashes in on her. You got a born again heel. It's legitimately a smart idea. So for me, number five, Carmella. Number four is Jeff Hardy. I know what you guys are thinking. Well, we've got Woken Matt Hardy. We want to see Brother Neo. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But I want to see Jeff Hardy holding a title sooner rather than later. And I think he would be an absolute fantastic worker on the SmackDown brand, just as Jeff Hardy. Because when he was WWE Champion, he was one, it was one of the coolest things I ever saw as a kid. And I really want to see that again now. He is absolutely still tired. Yes, he is older than when he was when he won the title, but my god, he's look at what he can do in the ring. Look what he can do in the ring. Jeff Hardy is awesome. So putting him on SmackDown will, will make him a superstar again, and you can have awesome feuds with AJ Styles. Who doesn't want to see Jeff Hardy versus AJ? I would love to see that. Number three is Baron Corbin, SmackDown to Raw. Now, this is for one reason only. Aaron Corbin is a big guy. Raw have tons of big guys. And I think he could legitimately feud really well in the mid card of Raw right now. Imagine him and The Miz. That work would, now that Baron Corbin has more mileage, he's less green than he was when he first went to SmackDown. And now that The Miz is probably one of the hottest heels in the company, it would be fantastic to see Baron Corbin versus The Miz for the IC title. Baron Corbin hasn't done anything really interesting for a while now. Yes, he had he held the US title, lost it to Dolph, and he's kind of done nothing since then. Moving to Raw would give him a fresh start, and I legitimately think you could push him into the higher mid cards, and maybe even after a while, push him further to the main event scene. He, the guy has all the tools, and let's be honest, we all know Vince McMahon likes big guys on Raw, he'd be a perfect fit for the Raw brand. But two is a guy who definitely needs to go from Raw to SmackDown because he's too good to be stuck in limbo like he is. Seth friggin Rollins. The guy has held nearly every title but apart from the IC title and I legitimately think he's one of the best champions we've ever had as a heel. He's so good, it's unbelievable. and. Again, the concept is, who wouldn't want to see Seth Rollins taking on AJ Styles, or Nakamura, or Bobby Roode? These are matches I'd love to see. The guy has got nothing going on right now. He's he's had that mismatch feud with Jason Jordan, which looks like it's going to be cancelled now. But let's be honest, Seth Rollins deserves not to be in the tag team division. He should be working in the big leagues on SmackDown Live. He should be main eventing pay-per-views with AJ. So for me, it makes complete and utter sense to have Seth Rollins going to SmackDown. Number one, SmackDown to Raw, Randy Orton, The Viper. Randy needs a change of scenery. Yes, he has been in a few good feuds, but he hasn't really done anything for some time since Bray Wyatt left. So send him to Raw. It seems like Raw would be a perfect for him right now. Anyway, and if the rumours are true that Batista might come back in a year's time, let's be honest, I'd love to see Randy Orton and Batista teaming up on Raw. 
the guy just needs something. He needs something to inject himself. Yes, he had a cool moment just recently on SmackDown Live, but apart from that, he really hasn't done anything interesting. Now, after WrestleMania, if he hasn't won the US title from Bobby Roode, definitely move him to Raw. He will be a great experienced wrestler to have on there, and it will help, you know, it would help the Raw brand have that kind of big name again for them. And there you go guys, that's our top 10 wrestlers who we think should change brands as soon as WrestleMania ends. Now, leave your comments below if you think this is wrong. Who would you have go to SmackDown? Who would you have go to Raw? And if you do like our videos, please like and subscribe. And if you want to follow me on the old Twitter, I'm at Boise88. And I'll see you guys next time on Smack Talk.